Prince Harry will miss UK and would be welcomed back like the prodigal son. Prince Harry will miss the UK and would be welcomed back like the prodigal son if he decided to return, according to a royal photographer. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are quitting the monarchy for a new life in North America. But royal photographer Arthur Edwards has said he does not think it will be long before Harry looks to return to Britain. The photographer added that he believes Harry will also want to become a fully-fledged member of the royal family again. And he said the 35-year-old would be welcomed back like the prodigal son. Writing for The Sun, Mr. Edwards said, Good luck on this adventure in America and Canada, but I don't think it will be long before he misses this country so much that he will want to come back and become a fully-fledged member of the royal family. I hope his self-imposed exile is short-lived but at the moment he is doing what his wife wants and that is commendable. But the grass always looks greener over in the neighboring field. So, Harry, if you get fed up of making speeches to rich businessmen and you want to come back, just jump on the first plane and come home. We will welcome you with open arms. The love this country has for him has never stopped. As far as the nation is concerned he is still their number one member of the royal family. Highlighting that the Queen has given Harry a year to review the arrangements, Mr. Edwards added, he will be welcomed like the prodigal son if he decides his future is here back in Britain in the world's number one family. It comes as Harry is completing his last round of official engagements before he and Meghan Markle end royal duties on March 31. The Sussexes will stop representing the Queen and become financially independent. Harry stepped out in Edinburgh yesterday at an event for his Sustainable Travel Initiative Travelist. During the engagement, he asked to be introduced as Harry rather than the Duke of Sussex. And he is teaming up with John Bon Jovi for an Invictus Games event on Friday. Meghan and Harry will also make an appearance at the Endeavour Fund Awards, which recognizes wounded, injured and sick service personnel, on March 5. The following day Harry will join Formula One's Lewis Hamilton at the official opening of the Silverstone Experience, a museum about British motor racing. On March 7 the couple will step out for the Mountbatten Music Festival at the Royal Albert Hall. And Meghan will mark International Women's Day on March 8. Their last official royal appearance is expected to be the Commonwealth Day service at Westminster Abbey on March 9. Meghan and Harry plunged the monarchy into crisis last month with their bombshell statement revealing plans to step back as senior royals. The announcement sparked emergency talks between senior royals to sort out their future roles. In the last week, it emerged that they had been forced to drop their Sussex royal brand. We miss them. Fans gush over Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's much-anticipated return to the limelight as their attendance at next week's Endeavour Fund Awards is confirmed. Royal fans have shared their excitement after the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's attendance at the Endeavour Fund Awards at London's Mansion House next week was confirmed today. Prince Harry, 35, and Meghan Markle, 38, will help celebrate the achievements of wounded, injured and sick servicemen and women next Thursday. 5th March, in their first appearance since they visited Canada House before announcing their step down from royal duties. The engagement will be the first in three joint engagements the couple will undertake in early March, before they officially step down as senior royals. And followers quickly took to social media to share their joy at seeing the popular pair together following their retreat to Canada with baby Archie. I'm so excited. The awards are always inspiring and I've missed seeing the Duke and Duchess so much," one fan tweeted. One follower wrote, Now folks, that's what I'm looking forward to, while another added, Can't wait to see them. Just Harry and Meghan. Can't wait to watch these awards show, one fan tweeted. Elsewhere one said, Really? I can't wait to see the most romantic and sexy couple on earth right now. Oh ah ooh 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 s and other agreed, we are looking forward to see them. The palace confirmed previous reports that Harry and Meghan would be attending the awards today. The couple will celebrate the achievements of wounded, injured and sick servicemen and women who have taken part in remarkable sporting and adventure challenges over the last year. The Endeavour Fund supports the ambitions of men and women who use challenges to help with their physical, 
psychological and social recovery and rehabilitation. The Anwell Awards, now in their fourth year, brings together hundreds of wounded, injured and sick service personnel and veterans as well as their families, friends and supporters of the military community. The awards ceremony, which will be hosted by former Invictus Games medalist J.J. Chalmers, will see four prizes awarded on the night. The prizes include the Recognizing Achievement Award, the Celebrating Excellence Award, the Henry Worsley Award and the Community Impact Award. Upon arrival, the Sussexes will attend a pre-ceremony reception where they will meet the inspiring nominees, as well as Endeavor participants and key supporters of the Endeavor Fund. They will then attend the awards ceremony, where they will each present an award. Harry will also give a short speech. Following his speech at the Travelist Conference in Edinburgh this week, Harry will also attend the Invictus Games Choir on Friday in the Silverstone Experience next week. Meanwhile Meghan will attend the International Women's Day, and join Harry for the Mountbatten Festival next week. Their final official engagement is expected to be March 9, when they will join the Queen at Westminster Abbey to mark Commonwealth Day. David Beckham says he's proud of his amazing friend Prince Harry and praises him for growing up after marrying Meghan Markle and becoming a father to Archie. David Beckham has told how he's proud of his amazing friend Prince Harry following his marriage to Meghan Markle and the birth of their nine-month-old son, Archie. The former England footballer, 44, praised the Duke of Sussex, 35 for growing up amid his decision to step back back as a senior royal and relocate to Canada. I haven't spoken to Harry about him moving, the sporting legend said, speaking to ET online. We speak as friends and that's the most important thing for me. I think he's enjoying being a young father for the first time and that's what we always spoke about. When you were a parent, it changes everything for you. He always needs to be happy. The father of four went on to say how he and wife Victoria are proud of how the Duke has taken to being a dad following Archie's birth in May last year. We love him and he's an amazing person, and that's the most important thing, but I'm proud to see him growing up as an individual and being the person that every father wants to be, he added. Every father wants to be loving to their children and that's what I see with him. On Wednesday, David who attended Harry and Meghan's wedding in 2018 with wife Victoria, admitted that he didn't realize how big a challenge it was going to be to establish in term Miami as the latest club in Major League Soccer. The legendary co-owner and president, speaking at the 2020 MLS launch, opened up on the difficulties to get to this point but remained adamant that he never once considered giving up. It has been a long journey. But I always knew it would be worth it, he said. The comments come as his best man, former footballer and sports agent Dave Gardner took to Instagram to share a picture of them both dining together. The snap, which shows the pair with their arms around each other and in the company of four others, was captioned, Beautiful dinner, night in New York. Yes at Intermiamic. Real reason why Meghan and Harry cannot use royal revealed dash a not about the Queen. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's claim the Queen does not have jurisdiction over the use of the word royal was dismantled on ITV Good Morning Britain by TV commentator Andrew Pierce. Mr. Pierce claimed Meghan Markle and Prince Harry were wrong in pointing out in their latest statement about the use of the word royal that the Queen has no jurisdiction over the decision. He explained the monarch was merely following the law of the land by demanding the couple stopped using the word as their brand. He said, Harry is incorrect to say this is just about the Queen and who owns the word royal. It was all set in something called the Paris Convention in 1883. Countries all around the world signed up to what words can be not borrowed, not used, not exploited. And that was followed by an act of Parliament in 1977 and 1994. The Queen was merely following the law of the land. The Sussexes are due to quit royal duties on March 31st as they begin a new working life in North America, in a bid to be financially independent of the crown. There have been tense negotiations over the couple's Sussex royal branding that appears on their website and social media. The pair had spent thousands trademarking the name to use on various merchandising and documentation. However, 
From March 31st Meghan and Harry will no longer have the authority to use the term royal for any promotional material or appearances. A statement on their Sussex Royal website reads, while the Duke and Duchess are focused on plans to establish a new non-profit organization, given the specific UK government rules surrounding use of the word royal, it has been therefore agreed that their non-profit organization will not utilize the name Sussex Royal or any other iteration of royal. For the above reason, the trademark applications that had been filed as protective measures and that reflected the same standard trademarking requests as done for the Royal Foundation of the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, have been removed. The statement continued, while there is not any jurisdiction by the monarchy or cabinet office over the use of the word royal overseas, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex do not intend to use Sussex royal or any iteration of the word royal in any territory either within the UK or otherwise, when the transition occurs spring 2020. From April 1, instead of undertaking engagements in support of the Queen, they will be represented via their UK foundation, according to their spokesperson. No further information has been issued about the couple's new charitable organisation, but it is thought there will be a particular focus on the community, youth empowerment, and mental health. Meanwhile, the couple's fire aides are reportedly not to be considered for any other role within Buckingham Palace. The closure meant 15 staff were made redundant and The Sun has claimed that the royal couple is now discussing redundancy packages for a clean break.